Morning folks, this is my prototype high output ultrasonic humidifier. Now, it's getting cold out here these days. It's winter now here in Canada. So, gotta think of something to get some water back in the air, some moisture. I call this the Amtec Moist Maker. Now, like I said, it is still a prototype. There's, there's a couple things here and there that still need to be addressed. Like for one, there's three power cords you gotta plug in to get it working because I'm still waiting on the humidistat and the enclosure for all the switches and all that stuff to go into. So let me explain how it works. So this is just a cover from my bathroom fan. It's not even screwed down yet. And uh, this is a fan from a dehumidifier. I actually had to open the motor up and flip the stator around to get the blade to spin this way because um, originally it was one of those motors that blow air past the motor and basically the other way. So. Yeah, and then underneath that is a piece of plastic from the bottom of one of those ice cream tubs. I cut it off and put it there because water from the ultrasonic mist maker was going straight into the motor, which was kind of sus. So there's a bit of water pooling up on top of this, but it's not touching the motor, so I don't really care. Anyways, this is a bucket from Firehouse Subs, which I cut holes into for airflow. That is a hummus container from Costco and that is a highlighter. Inside are two ultrasonic mist makers. One of them is disabled because it ended up being too much. It would splash around a lot with that running. And down there is a water pump, so I'll explain how this works in a sec. So the lid's been lifted and yes, I'm aware that's made out of wood and that's a bad idea. It's, it's a prototype, remember? So it's a work in progress, just a proof of concept. I'm going to rebuild this out of more water resistant materials. Oh, over there's a lid, it's a splash guard, because, you know, ultrasonic uh, mist makers make like a stream of water that goes upwards, and uh, that's to deflect it and send it back down while letting the mist escape. So, essentially what happens is that water pump pumps water up into this sump where the ultrasonic mist makers are. The mist makers do their thing, they make their mist, and then, you know, the fan is blowing air straight this way, and then the mist is picked up and goes up through the fan and out. And the reason I picked such a big fan is to disperse the humidity faster, because this is meant to be high output. I was initially going to go with the evaporative type, but I find that filters are kind of a pain in the ass. you got to replace them, you got to remember to replace them, they lose their efficiency over time. This won't. We've got pretty clean water here, so I'm not worried about that white death accumulating on, uh, on things. For those of you who don't know, ultrasonic humidifiers, whatever's in your water, so if your water's not that clean, that stuff will end up all over your stuff and in the air. So I'm not too worried about that here, despite there being some debris in there, which kind of makes me look like an idiot. I'm going to clean this out. But yeah, that's how it works. One of the ultrasonic mist makers are disabled, like I said, because it's, it was too much humidity. It's just, honestly, it was just splashing water up through the fan. So I'm going to put the lid back on and we'll, uh, we'll test it out. Show you how it works. Hopefully there's enough water in there. It's been running all day and the water tank is empty. So first thing you do, well actually it doesn't matter what order you do this in, because when, when the unit has like a proper controller and everything, or even a power switch, all of this stuff is going to be powered up simultaneously. But for demonstration purposes, pump first. You can hear it power up. You can see the sump filling up. And then I'll plug in the ultrasonic mist maker. There's the boost converter. I used a uh, laptop power supply, 19 volts, and then a boost converter to increase that to 24 because it was cheaper than just buying the right power supply. So once the water reaches the ultrasonic mist maker, there it goes. And see how it's falling down? That's, that's why I uh, needed the fan. Then you plug the fan in. And you have nice humid air.
you unplug it? Because of where I uh, I put the uh, the intake or the discharge line from the water pump, the water slowly drains all the way back down so that eventually this sump dries out so that when you lift the lid it doesn't, you know, spill water all over the place. I did make the pipe pretty small, it's a quarter of an inch so it does drain rather slowly, but as you can see it is draining. Eventually it'll be completely empty. So some improvements I'd like to make is first of all the controls, like this is a mess. Three plugs that you gotta plug in, it's pretty ridiculous. You know, maybe a control panel right there. Maybe I'll use one of those, uh, excuse the mess. One of these little neon rocker switches, maybe two of them, one for the pump and one for the fan. And uh, one other thing is that this does, despite the, the splash shield, it does still splash some water out here because of the water, like the activity that goes on in the sump over here. So I gotta figure out something for that. It's not too bad, but occasionally a big drop makes it out and it's kind of not good when you have wooden floors, especially upstairs where there are wooden floors. <laughs> Another thing is I'd like to replace that DC pump with an AC pump just to get rid of the amount of bulk like in terms of these transformers and whatnot. Like I'm sure the DC pump is more uh, efficient but I don't give a shit. Plus I kind of like the hum of an AC pump that's why I went with an AC motor for the fan. This is like an 80 watt motor. I don't know if I explained this before but this fan is from a dehumidifier which is kind of ironic. It's from one of those woods dehumidifiers I think Super Electric also had one. Uh, had the same one under their name. I'm not sure who actually made it, but yep. I guess that's all, folks. Once it's uh, finished, I guess I'll make another video of it. So far, it's been working great. I keep it in here. I set the thermostat to fan only. And then it uh, humidifies this room. Not too much. And then it uh, gets sucked in through here and spread around the whole house. It is pretty high output. Uh, it finished the entire bucket within actually I wasn't really keeping track of how many hours but it finished the bucket so it's doing something anyways thanks for watching and have some fun under the humid sun